Finally, <coughs> we're going to finish off with the arm today. And the arm only has the A and the B line. If you'll remember, the A line is always the center line, and the B line is the next external line, which is roughly two to one to two fingers outside. Now, it's referred to as the B line that there's only two lines when actually there's probably three, but the A line is the center line, and the B line is the external line on either side. And it's simply because of the diameter of the arm. It's not because of anything else. So you're going to start up in the shoulder, as you did before, and at your termination points when we were working on the neck and, and trapezius muscles. So you're going to start the center part of the elbow at the shoulder, <coughs> and you're just going to work your way down. Now there is a point right below the deltoid as it ties in and separates out. And this is kind of a, oh, a sweet spot of sorts in regards to ailments of the shoulder. And what it is is that it's actually a nerve cluster that passes through. Continue on down the center line. When you get to the elbow, there's you're going to just go around the elbow. So as it passes down, just go around the elbow. Don't pass through the center of the elbow. So anyway, A line in the arm. <clears throat> 